Hello scientists, I will show you how to download Inkscape for free and you can prepare for my beginner course on the 13th and 14th of August. You can find the live stream link down below. Go to inkscape.org. Come here to the download tab and click on current version. They support three operating systems. For me, it's Windows 64-bit. There are three packages. All of them works. ESE format, it will only install into one account in your computer. MSI package will install Inkscape into all the accounts in your computer. 7Z compress format, decompress it. You can start to use the software immediately. You don't need installation. In my case, I will use the MSI package. It should automatically start downloading. You can find your file probably in download. Then I'll just double click it to to start with the setup. Just keep on clicking next and install. All right, it takes a while, but now it's finished. You should be able to find the Inkscape icon on your desktop. Double click on it, then you'll be greeted by this welcome window. Come to the quick setup. There are a few things you can customize. First is the canvas. I uh, will you just use default and then keyboard also default. You might first encounter the light mode. I prefer to use dark mode. The appearance, I prefer to use classic symbolic. And then they will show you this tab called supported by you. Uh, Inkscape is a free open source software. If you guys appreciate their work, you can always support them <laughs> via the link here. Now we're at the time to draw tab. This is uh, for opening a new file. So setting up your canvas. And here are a few templates that you can choose. Uh, for prints, you will find the common paper formats. For screen, that's for screen dis display. Most of the papers are published digitally these days. I would use screen. I will use the screen templates, the desktop 1080p. Now you will see your canvas at the center of the window. Above the canvas, you will find the control bar. This control bar is for the tools that you are currently enabled. When you switch to different tools, the control bar will change accordingly. And above the control bar, you will find the menus. There are a lot of things hiding in these menus. And on the left side are the tools. They are the things that you need for drawing on your canvas. We will only need a few of them. I have handpicked selected the important ones for you and I will walk you through them in the next four days. On the right hand side, you will find the control panel. At the bottom of the window, you will find the color swatches. These are the colors and Inkscape have mixed it for you. You can navigate the swatches by pressing on these arrows. At the bottom right, you will find this zoom in and rotation tool. So you can zoom into your canvas by pressing the plus sign and zoom out with the minus sign. You can rotate your canvas. If you want to change the canvas size, you can come to File, Document Property, then you have this window. So if you want to have it exactly the same as me, so just type in 1920 here and then 1080 with the height and with pixel. Let's take a look on the left side, the toolbars. By default, we will be in the, by default, we will have our selection tool enabled. You can't really see the function of selection tool by only having it on its own. Let's grab our rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. And now you're ready to take my beginner course. I arranged this course because you guys asked me to do a live stream that is suitable for the Asian time zones. And you guys voted for the best time, so check out the link and I'll see you at the course.